Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. In this video, we are going to go over a brand new innovative app that can make our roadways a much safer, especially for pedestrians, school buses, and we all want to make sure those are as safe as possible. So let's get right into it. So I'm here with Gabby. She's going to give me an exclusive ride and show you all the systems they're working on. All right, you ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Let's take a trip. Let's do it. So this is their new app here. It's called Travel Safely. And this will give you alerts of any red lights and even give you the timing for the green lights. And if you have pedestrians, school buses, so on and so on in front of you, this app is going to tell you that. As you can see, guys, it's showing that we have a red light here at this intersection as we do. And it's already given her the alert. And it's even given a little bit of a countdown in the turn lane that we are in so that we are expecting the green light. So the awesome thing about the app is it's free. People can just download it, they can open it, they can start using it if our technology is deployed in their area. It increases safety for drivers and for pedestrians. And it's really cool to see what's going on around you and have more information about what the traffic light is gonna be doing, um, what's happening in a school zone, if there's a pedestrian in front of you, and it just makes your driving experience that much safer and that much cooler. What was applied information's initial intent. What was the passion behind it? Yeah, the industry and traffic is working more towards getting every car talking to every car, every person talking to every car, and they wanted to bring all this connected vehicle technology together. But the thing is that not everybody can afford a car that can alert you uh, in dash. Everybody's got a cell phone, mm -hmm. got a smartphone. Let's give them an app that basically does that for them and they can put it in any car for free. Right, and as you can see, as we got that green light, it alerted her and it told her that and we're able to travel safely across this intersection while it's also going to give us advanced warnings for other red lights as we come up to them. So what's the hardest push on getting these systems into local cities and where maybe the viewers here can go to their city councils and stuff like that to try to get these systems in place? For a lot of places, uh, you know, the budget has to be available to do that and that means that they have to prioritize that when they're doing their budget discussions. So it really helps when the citizens say this is the safety technology that we want deployed in our area. So if you talk to your governments and your councils and you say, we want to have this deployed in the next couple of years, can you guys get it budgeted in? Uh, then it makes it so much easier for them to actually buy the technology because those are the limitations that are on them. For getting it in your city, there's grants that are offered. There's so many different things that is offered where if you as a voter just wants to say, hey, I'd like to put some of the money that we're paying here in taxes to go to these smart systems that are helping keep pedestrian safety, school safety. Red See, light. we just got alert right there. It says that a red light is incoming. And that's just gonna give more advanced warnings, keep lower an actual uh, case of people actually dropping down and stopping at red lights more often. Because we all know those um, red light cameras that send you a ticket, statistically, they don't help at all. They're just more of a money money grab, as this company is not trying to make money off of this. They are trying to improve traffic safety. We basically give like a, a general how long it's going to be okay. as opposed to green. a second to second. Okay. And there you go. So you have a good area where you can almost time the lights. Again, for a safety reasons, you're not trying, we're not trying to get it down to the second. And also y'all probably seen in videos before where we'll have different systems set up like the dilemma zones where it may extend that green light, not give you a whole accurate measure of it, but this is gonna tell you down to the last five seconds to be ready for that green light and also give you the advanced warning with hopefully not being taken the eyes off the road that you have red lights incoming. All right, let's go autonomous. Hands off the wheel. Ah, so this is the autonomous driving. I know it makes me a little bit nervous, but we'll see how well it does. Pedestrian ahead. And that is one of the key warnings we are looking for here. We are trying to give an advanced warning, especially as you can see as we come around here. It's a curve where uh, you can't really see a perfect line of sight coming up to this crossing here. And look, see, this Tesla is driving just a little too quick. And as you can see, we have a pedestrian coming across this crossing, this Hawk signal here. Stop pedestrian. And we're getting all the alerts, the feedback Stop to the driver 
that's going to allow you to know that a pedestrian is actively crossing the crosswalk and will hopefully get more and more people to stop at these because I mean if you've ever walked across the road before you know that people hate stopping for you it's almost like the world's against the pedestrians at times and and that's what we're looking to improve pedestrian ahead and right here it'll even show you a, a green symbol when you're coming across this oh and he's stopping pedestrian. stopped a little short that's for sure stop pedestrian that was one of the things I did want to see was the autonomous driving versus the crosswalk and it actually did fairly well. It had been better for the clip if we would have drove right through it, but it did pretty well. So maybe, maybe the future is looking good. We're pulling back up to their destination and they kind of have all of the implementations running right now in their building. So as you can see, we have school bus stopped ahead, but now it's kind of a mock system they have right now, but that can be implemented into every school bus, which would allow an advance warning when a school bus is stopped ahead of you that you need to stop and clearly not run through. I mean, all of us have seen the dreadful videos of kids almost getting hit, near miss videos, and kids even being hit and killed by other drivers where this system could very much change how we see school bus alerts and advance warnings is what we need for drivers so that we stop having these incidents so when we pull up to a work zone as well it also so like on my truck our truck because y'all help us work uh, we can also get these devices implemented into the vehicles and when we have them activated it'll also give drivers an advance warning knowing that a work zone is in place and that they need to be caution of that. And the way that the app works is it'll give you that initial alert just to let you know that it's happening. But if you speed up... It even gives you that alert that you are speeding in the work zone. And don't worry guys, we're in Mexico or, you know, this whole place is shut down for us to do this. Yeah. Wink, uh, I'll wink through the sunglasses, guys. Um, but it also does give you information when you're speeding through the work zone, which is very helpful because guys, we all hate getting tickets. And some of the times you don't even see the signs or you know everything's moving so fast and there's more distractions on the road than ever nowadays. And maybe you didn't catch the signs, but now you're driving 10 miles over the, the speed limit. And we're trying to avoid that. I don't like tickets. I'm sure y'all don't like tickets. So this app can really help you guys out. What about in the future? Do you think you can have this like overlaid onto uh, Waze, uh, yeah. Apple Maps and stuff like that? So right now we actually are already integrated with Waze. So for school beacon alerts and emergency vehicle alerts, if you are a Waze partner city, and that's just something that agencies can right. sign up for, and you have our technology deployed, you'll get an alert in Waze that you're in a school zone. Okay, so they would almost get this in ways already. In ways already. See, look, I'm about to have to join the ways movement. Everybody's going to it. Yeah. And travel safely is just making the improvements to that app even more. And hopefully soon we'll be coming to uh, Apple Maps and Google Maps. Yeah. How long do you expect for something like that? We're talking to Google. We're trying to talk to Apple. Um, maybe a year. Big company is hard to, <laughs> to really yeah. get pushed into it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, but hopefully in the very near future, maybe it can be something where you just open up your Apple Maps, your your Waze, your Google Maps, and it's right there on your phone. You put in your destination where you don't have to be in the separate app to do so, and it's gonna just make all the drivers more safe, you know, and more aware of their surroundings and alerts. I know some of them can be dumb sometimes when you just got those vehicles pulled over to the shoulder, but all of that matters to keeping people safe on the road, and that's what we're trying to improve here. So if you want to prepare now, you can download the Travel Safely app, and then make sure to talk to the people in charge of your communities and get these Glance systems installed because this app is only available in places that actually has the infrastructure around it. So let's make a change. And this app, I believe, is going to make a difference. Thanks for watching.